Hello everyone, Andesidjuai here, and welcome back to another video of Pokemon Violet. So, in our last episode, we beat the final Titan Pokemon, and we unlocked all the moves, the moves from Mirror Dawn. We knew how we can, we can dash, uh, we can jump higher, uh, we can glide. Okay, well these are all moves, but the move we unlocked last is be able to be able to climb vertical surfaces, which, okay, can I try it over here? Oh yeah, see, I'm climbing up it. Okay, well I mean, this isn't the best example since this hill is kind of shaped awkwardly, but... Yeah, I climbed up it. So now that we can basically go anywhere we want now with Miradon, I think we'd best to go back and tackle all the stuff we had to pass on earlier, such as the Psychic Gym, that's what I'm planning on doing in this episode. But before we do that, there's actually two things I need to do. First, uh, the move I want to teach Blob is Venoshock. It's, uh, actually, it's, it's already kind of a powerful Poison-type move. Like, even without the double power, like, it's still pretty good, but with a double power, with a... a Target is poisoned, or actually, oh, here it's only their poison. I think in Pokemon Legends Arceus, it was different. It worked if they had any special condition, but here it's only if they're poisoned. But still, I still think it'd be a pretty good move for Blob. And I guess we'll just, we'll guess, I guess we'll just replace Mega Horn. I mean, it's not that great of a move to be honest. At least I don't think it is. But then the second thing I want to do is I think it's about time we evolve Growlithe. That's right, we're doing it right now because I feel like we've leveled up Growlithe enough, so now we can evolve him. So. I just need to go up and find where I have the Firestone. Here we are, Firestone. We actually have a ton. Wow. But we'll use one. And now Growlithe should now evolve into Arcanine. Let's go. That's right, this Growlithe evolving. Okay. And let's see Arcanine. There they are. Wow, it looks so cool. You can see, like, all the details in their fur, which, again, it's a thing in this game, but still, it looks really cool. So we have Arcanine now. I believe Arcanine will now... Okay, Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon, even though they aren't technically a legendary. I remember that joke. A magnificent bar conveys a sense of majesty. Anyone hearing it can't help but grovel before it. Okay, I think I heard that, too. I think that was also made into a joke. Although uh, they are running around, that's because that's what they like to do. And yes, I want to learn to move extreme speed, their signature move. Yes, we're going to learn that move. So it's a, it has power of 80, it makes them always, it's basically just a really strong quick attack. Okay, I think we're just gonna get rid of Retaliate, because, yeah, I think this is better. I mean, I guess this could be used for some good scenarios, but I think for now we're just gonna stick with Extreme Speed. Actually, let's see what Arcanine wants to learn. Uh, no, nah, let's get Retaliate. I want to keep Howl, because it's a nice stat to his base move. I mean, I might replace it a later time, but soon now. Okay, wow, look at Arcanine, he looks really, like, actually, I don't know, he looks, he looks a little... I don't know, that weird, just, he had a weird expression on his face, almost kind of a nervous slash, like, awkward expression. I don't know, something about it, but, I still, I really like how they look in this game. Okay, now let's take on this Ghastly with a Crunch. Okay, it's only level 16, which should easily take it on. There we go. Also, I want to try out Extreme Speed, too. Also, let's actually, let's see what Arcanine looks like when running around. Wow, okay, do you think different, do you think different Pokemon have different, like, running speeds? Okay, wow, you can really see the details in his fur, wow. Okay, let's see. Go after that growl, uh, rock rough. Okay, did you take him out? Okay. Okay, you can easily take out that Skiddo, that's for sure. Uh, see, so yeah, I guess I'll just run this way. This is my strategy. I just sort of just let my Pokemon do auto battling while I'm going in the direction I need to go in. Also, or if I'm trying to, like, get items or stuff. You know, just so I can, like, sort of do stuff, two stuff at once. Oh, there's an item or a TM over here. Like, okay, actually, I, I think we did it. Did I get, did I, oh, I didn't grab it. Oops. Okay. Okay, Electro Ball, okay. I think the TMs might actually- do some of the TMs respawn? I have no idea. But I feel like some of them are respawning. But oh well. Okay, let's just keep going this way. Also, I do want to try out Arcanine's signature move, Extreme Speed, in the battle, so I might want to try battling soon. Okay, where did Arcanine go? Okay, I guess he came back to his Pokeball. Okay, come on, let's go. Come on, take him out. Okay, we got- Okay, I think I have a Mistray of us already. I don't, th I don't think I need to catch one. Alright, you can take him out, Arcanine. That'd be really helpful. Okay. Okay, that's pretty nice. Yeah, we've, I mean, we've been here before. We already battled all these trainers. Oh! Arcanine, get all those Skiddos! Get them! Come on, get them all. Before they run away, quick! Go! Go! Come on, okay. If I just let, like, let him be, will he do it on his own? Okay, I think... Okay, I still don't know how it works exactly. It's... The auto battling in this game, I find it very confusing. I might... I, I tried looking it up, but I couldn't really find anything helpful about it. A while, though. Okay, ooh, it's not a normal Terra Raid. I guess we could try it out. I mean, I want to try to do one Terra Raid per uh, video, just to keep things a bit more interesting. Also, oh, there's a Gimme Ghoul over there. I should try to get them. Okay, actually, uh, okay, I was about to get that Gimme Ghoul, but I guess I have to battle this Rock Rock first. Okay, that's fine. We're going to test out Extreme Speed now. Let's see it. Okay. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa, what was that? Arcanine, like, jumped up in the air and did something. I was, I was not expecting that. Wow, but impressive, Arcanine. That was, like, an impressive jump. 
I mean, I guess like some people teach their dogs to jump, so maybe that's what it's supposed to be like. Okay, but let's try out this uh, TR-80. It's a normal type Marini, but I think we can do it with Donald of fighting types. So let's give it a go. We'll go for focus energy first, and then we can go all out with our uh, low kicks. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Okay, they're going for liquidation. It's not going to do much. Yeah, I only did six damage. Wow. Okay, also, I'm trying to talk over the loud music here. So I just thought the music was kind of loud. So I mean, if I sound kind of loud, just because I'm trying to talk over it. Okay, but that was pretty good. I did a lot of damage there. Oh, okay, so Nullvine, the stat changes. Okay, so it's gonna get rid of my stat boost, unfortunately. But I don't think it matters that much. It's, it's barely doing any damage to us, and I'm gonna easily take it out. Let's go. You got this, Donald. Goodbye, Marini. Okay, I should catch Marini. I mean, I already have them, but again, it's worth getting for the different tier types. Which I believe, I believe there actually is actually a way you can change your Pokemon's tier type, I've sort of heard. Because you have to collect like those certain uh, Terra Crystal items, and you have to go to a certain place and do something with them. But I heard it requires a lot of them, so it might take some time. But I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of making Arcanine a normal Terra type, so I, we, that way you can use a powerful Extreme Speed, and then maybe making. I mean, okay, actually, I wanted to make Ampharos a Dragon Terra type. That was for sure. Okay, but there we go. Uh, Marine, I already know them. Let's just go. Okay, so now we're going back to that cave. This cave had a lot of. Like, I th well, Pokemon that were over-leveled before. I'm not sure how over-leveled they'll be now. Okay, I, th I think Blob was good here, so let's put him in the front for now. Okay. There's a Toxtricity up there. Should I- can I catch it? Come on. Did I- did I get it? Um, okay, okay. I guess that works. Okay. So, I mean, I've already caught them, but I think I, ca I caught the blue one, the amped form, so I want to try and see if I can catch the other form of them. Okay, I dodged that screech, that's good. Oh, the only problem is I might knock them out with my dick. That might have been a bad move right there. Alright, we'll see. Alright, what are you gonna do, Toxtricity? Alright, Discharge. That's gonna miss me. Alright, Blob, come on. Just don't knock them out, please. Okay, well, this is fine, I guess. I mean, I guess I, guess I don't really need to worry too much about getting them. Okay, actually, you know what? It is worth battling, though, because I, I feel like I do get a lot of XP from this, so... Okay, that reminds me... Last time there were like a ton of Pokemon. I don't know why there's barely any this time. That's weird. Uh, okay. All right, I think what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go up this way. Uh, yeah. So we can. We can, I think we we don't even need to climb. I think we can just do the high jump to get up there. All right, there's another Toxtricity. Let's see if I can catch it. Okay. Up. Oh, no. No. Oh dang! He saw me. No. Oh wait. Can I get him off guard? Okay. I guess that worked somehow. I don't really know how, but okay. Okay. Okay, actually, I shouldn't be using Blob. I should probably just use, I guess... Okay, let me, let's try Arcanine. Let's see what they can do. I, I want to try them out more since, you know, that I just got them. I just evolved my Growlithe. Okay. okay. I don't know how big this cave is. There's a, there's a Terrorist Slice Pokemon up there, so I might want to go after them. Okay, they're caught off guard. Okay. Let's try an Extreme Speed and see what that does. Okay, it's good enough, I guess. Okay, ouch, they're doing some good damage, though. Oh, and I'm paralyzed. Ouch. Okay, maybe I should switch out for... Okay, I I'm gonna switch out for Blob and go for a Sludge... Or maybe even Venom. Yeah, I think Venom Shock is less damage, so... I'll go for that, and it should barely do any damage. It should just be... I mean, it should be enough to get it into the red and not knock it out. I hope that works. Okay, but I'm immune to that. Like, Blob is, like, like almost 100% immune to all of Toxtricity's moves, I think. Okay, instead of power 95, this one only has a power 65. Oh, okay, oh, okay, Swagger, that could be bad, because, okay, now I'm worried about two things, I'm worried I'll either, I'll hurt myself, or I'll knock them out, because of the stat increase, the attack increase. Okay, I don't know, this move can be kind of annoying at times. Okay, it worked, but am I gonna knock it out? Oh, okay, I guess I didn't have to worry about it after all. Alright, one more, we should, should do the trick. Okay, can't affect me. Okay, just attack them, Blob, all you gotta do is hit them one more time. Oh no! Oh, okay, it's fine, Blob. It happens. Let's keep going for Venom Shock. Okay, they can't. Okay, how, wait. How come? I, th I thought. How come Blob was able to get poisoned in Team Star's poison base? Did they have like some sort of special like ability or something to let them poison a poison type? Because I, I, I feel like poison types are immune to poison type moves, as we j as you just saw there. Well, and also immune to uh, the uh, status condition poison, but in that fight, they were able to damage me poison moves and also uh, giving the poison status effect. Okay. Okay, oh, actually, the critical hit actually probably helped. Okay, now let's go, since we already caught him, let's go for a repeat ball. 
Oh, also, I also want to try out the Quick Ball, because the Quick Ball is actually really good if you use it on the first turn of the battle. You can, like, almost instantly catch Pokemon. It's really good for just catching a bunch of random, somewhat weak Pokemon, I think. For bigger, stronger ones, you might need to do something else. Okay, so this time we caught, not the Amped form, but the... Oh, is the Amped form? Okay, I'm, okay, I'm so confused. Okay, may maybe I'm, I'm getting something mixed up. I thought the blue one was Amped, or, or maybe I'm mixed up, I don't know. Okay, let's see. I just want to just test and see. So we go after a Salazzle right here. I don't know if I caught- I think I've caught them before. But, if I go for a Quick Ball, see if it works. Okay, it might, might not, since they, they're they somewhat high-leveled. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, it did work! Okay, yeah, I think Quick Balls are really good. Yeah, they're, they're like a really uh, oh, good ball overall, because you can like easily catch them on the first turn. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna definitely try to buy more of them, which I think they cost the same amount as repeat balls, so I think that's what I'll do. Okay, this is Sableye, I don't, have I caught them before? I've, I don't know, no. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to explore this cave and just see what there is. Uh, okay, so there's nothing around here, okay, I, I don't see any items here, it's kind of surprising, I thought there'd be at least something over there, but I guess not. I can see, where is, is there actually, is, is that terror size Pokemon still up here? Okay, yes it is, it's right over there. Uh, oh, it's a Houndoom. Okay. Hmm. Actually, let's use Arcanine. See? Oh, but they're they're paralyzed though. Okay. Okay, it's my bad, bad idea, but I still think Arcanine will be able to do it because they'll be immune to their fire type moves. But you, oh, they're a ghost terror type. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what, what, do, what I can do. Oh, actually, oh, it's, I was just planning. Okay, I was gonna plan for. Actually, oh, never mind. It works. I can use Crunch. Okay, I was gonna use Extreme Speed, but it won't work. So I have to use Crunch instead. You know, it's fine. I can live with it. Ouch, I did some damage. Okay, yeah, I was able to attack. That's good. And I got into the red. That's awesome. Okay. Alright, I'm ready to catch you. Okay, it's not the first turn battle, so I can't go for a quick ball. I'm just gonna have to go for an ultra ball and hope for the best. See, I, th I think my go-to... Actually... Okay. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, I forgot. You can't catch Terra Size Pokemon Mon until you, uh, I guess, remove their Terrastillation, whatever you call it. You know? Right, okay, thank you. That I'm, I'm I'm immune to that. Also, I probably want to switch out because I think it might knock me out. I don't want that. So let's just switch out for Donald since they'll be resistant to their water. I mean, their fire type moves. And also, they're also a dark type. So I, I think fighting types are resistant to dark types too. So I think that's actually a pretty good type combo I have right here. Okay, Destiny Bond. What does that do? Oh, actually, I know what it is. It's if if you knock them out, it knocks you out too. But don't worry, I'm not gonna knock it out. I'm, I'm not gonna knock you out, Hon Hon Doom. I'm gonna catch you. That's completely different. Yeah, nice try. There we go. All right, I caught Hon Doom. Sweet. Which I, I think Hon Doom is actually that Pokemon. You know, we saw at the beginning of the game that we're attacking Maradon. Oh, Blob is one to move Earthquake. Hmm. I mean, it's actually pretty good. Okay, I kind of want to replace... I mean, I like Dig, but I kind of like Earthquake, too. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's just... Okay, you know what? Let's just replace Dig. Yeah. Because, I mean, I mean, does Blob really have to dodge moves? I mean, they're pretty tanky. I think they can just tank moves instead. I think it'll work. And plus, I already have Fly on top of it. Fly is basically just... It works similarly to Dig, you know? Our Hound Doom, the Dark Pokemon. That's why it's a Dark type. Upon hearing its eerie howls, other Pokemon get the shivers and head straight back to their nests. Yeah, that's right, you don't want to mess with Hondoom. Also, did, did I catch this pre evolve Hondower? Oh, I haven't. Okay, I'll probably have to... I think you can actually go back to the, that cave where the Weirdon led you to and, like, catch Hondooms and Hondowers there, so I might have to do that sometime. Okay. I'm just trying to just fly around and just see what else there is. Like, I'm seeing a good amount of Pokemon, I'm not really seeing any items, which is kind of surprising. I thought, like, a cave area at least would have a ton of items, but I guess not. Okay, maybe we should just focus on getting out of here. Okay, yeah, we already have most of the Pokemon. I think we caught most of the Pokemon that were here anyways. Okay, we're actually pretty close to the type Gym. Alright, there's one item over here, I guess I'll grab it, just because I can. Uh, and you know what, maybe I should try to see if I can catch Sableye, maybe. I just want to just, because I, I don't think I caught it before. Yeah, I, don't, I think I tried, but I didn't succeed. Was, am I right? Oh, oh okay, I, I did. Okay, well, I guess I did catch it after all. So, actually, let's, let's just knock it out if we can. Actually, maybe I won't be able to. Quash? What does that move do? Oh, was... My move was postponed. What? What does that do? I'm confused. Does it make me unable to use that move again? Power gem? Ow, that almost killed me. Shoot. 
Okay, flamethrower. Alright, goodbye, Sableye. I mean, I already caught you, so I don't need to catch you again. Sorry. Okay. Right, let's head out now. Let's head oh, actually, there's a new Pokemon. I think it's the pre evolved a Salamence, a Shell Dawn. I think it's what it's called. Okay, see, can I can I get it? Okay. Yeah, I don't have any. Uh, I guess I'll have to go. Actually, no, I, I can't go for Ampros because Dragon Tail. Okay, I might want to replace Dragon Tail. Actually, I don't think that move is that good to be honest. Uh, I guess we'll try out. Let's just try a Talonflame. I guess. I don't really know. Okay, Talonflame, you got this. Yeah, I think Shell Dodge is just a Dragon type, so yeah. Okay, Dragon Claw. Okay, I did a good amount of damage. Also, I actually taught Talonflame this new move, Tailwind. I think it like boosts the speed stat of like your team for four turns. What it says here, so I guess it's a, it's, I guess it's sort of a good stat just move for me to have. Oh, let's go for Fly. Like, I don't really understand how fly works when we're in, like, a cave and there's, like, a clearly a ceiling to it, but, okay. You do you, I guess, Talonflame. Alright, let's see how much damage I'll do now. I hope I don't knock it out. Okay, I, I think I can make this work. If I just go for one more fly, I should be able to get it into the red. Okay. Come on, we got this. Come on, Talonflame, you got this. I believe in you. Just fly and just don't hit the cave ceiling somehow. Also, I just, I think I want to check the Pokédex and see how far I've gotten so far, since I think I made some pretty good progress. Uh, okay, let's, let's just go for an Ultra Ball. I think an Ultra Ball is just our go-to ball, unless there's like a ball that worked better. Actually, I could, is, this isn't in a cave, right? So I could go for a Dust Ball, I think, if I wanted to. Also, oh, I should probably switch out. Oh, oh no, that's actually kind of bad. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to switch out. Okay, I'm just going to go for a... a uh, one more Pokeball, if it doesn't work, it might just faint because of the burn. I think a Dust Ball has a really high chance of working in a dark place such as the cave. We are in a cave, so let's see if it works. I don't know if it will. I don't know if it's better than an Ultra Ball or a Peep Ball or a Quick Ball, but let's see. Okay, it works though! So I, I guess it, using a Dust Ball is kind of worth it for caves like this. Oh, that was a close call. I almost failed to catch that shell. Shell gone. The endurance Pokemon a dragon type. Its armor body makes all attacks bounce off. The armor is too tough, however, making it heavy making it heavy and somewhat sluggish. Okay. I mean it didn't make all the attacks bounce okay, maybe it's just projectile attacks or something. I don't know. Oh, okay, we should probably get going though. Uh I guess we'll battle the train first. Did I see you riding on a Pokemon? You sure did. And I think Maradon is a dragon type. I didn't know this Pokemon that could climb those steep slopes of a rider. Okay, because you're, you're a dragon tamer. Alright, I'm challenged by Tamara the Dragon Tamer. Okay, let's see what dragon type she has. Oh! I just caught that! Okay, cool! Oh shoot, I'm really low. I, I shouldn't be using Arcanine. Uh... Okay, let's, let's try Art Ampharos to go for Dragon Tail. I, I guess Dragon Tail is good for trainer battles, but in the wild, I don't really like it that much. It's, it can, like, it ends, it, ends, it ends the battle, like, even if you don't want it to, you know? I guess it is useful. Sometimes you want to escape, but still. Okay, I, I did a good amount of damage. But I got Dragon Teal. Okay, Scary Face. You're gonna lower my speed, but you're already faster, so I don't really care. Okay, actually, let's see if we can get switched out from battle now. Yeah, I want to see that happen. Okay, come on. Okay, yeah, they were, they, had, they were forced to switch out. Now who are they gonna send out? Uh, okay, Haxorus. Oh! Okay. Wow, you have a lot of powerful, scary Dragon types. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, Focus Energy. Wait, actually, if I just keep going for Dragon Tail, can I just cycle through all the Pokemon and just slowly take them out? Is that something I can try doing? I mean, it's worth a shot. Okay. Alright, see, what's... Is she gonna send out a Shell Gone again or, or her a third Pokemon? Let's see. Okay, she got Shell Gone again. Okay. I mean, I, do, you, do, you, do you get to choose which Pokemon gets dragged out? Or, like, if that if someone uses a move like that on you, or is it random? Or does it choose, like, the one in the next in the order, right? I don't really know. I, mean, I think you get to choose, you know? So, just to make it a bit more fair. What's that Doug Trio even doing? Are they, are they, like, stuck in the corner over there? I'm about to send out Sligu. Ooh, the pre of of Gudra. But no, I'm just gonna stick with Ampharos. Ampharos has this with Dragon Tail. Probably dragon type move, which I might I might want to get a different dragon type move for them actually. I don't know. Okay, rain dance. Like how is it raining inside a cave? The the logic just doesn't make sense sometimes. Okay, I almost took it out, but now it's gonna get switched out, but you know what that's fine. 
So I, th I think this is kind of a good strategy because I can just like do a bit of damage to all of her Pokemon between turns, you know? Instead of having to, to go one at a time. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Dragon Pulse. Okay, that, did, that didn't do much at all, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Alright, goodbye, Hacks to Rust. Okay, now all I gotta do is take out Sligu, which, I mean, I feel kind of bad since I, I really like Gudra as a Pokemon, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Alright, okay, Rust out Sligu, it's fine. Uh, I'll just keep with Ampharos, they've got this. Come on, let's do it. Also, yeah, this is a normal Sligu, not the uh, Hijui one. The Hijui one had, like, the snail tail, but... Uh, you know, the original ones didn't, because I think the original ones are based off, like, the Sligu, Gudra, and Gudra from the, the original, the Kalos region, they're based off slugs, while Zhu and Gudra is based off, a uh, snail. At least, I think. Wait, I'm confused? Oh, does Water Pulse confuse you? I didn't know that. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. Ampharos, please don't hurt yourself. Please. Okay, thank you. Alright, there we go. Goodbye, Sligu. Okay, yeah, you put up a, a, a bit of a fight there, which, you know, I, I appreciate it, because Sligu is actually an evolved into a Gudra, a really powerful dragon type. I mean, I think they're basically the pseudo-legendary dragon of, of the Calls region, similar to Dragapult or uh, Dragon Knight, you know? I thought I trained pretty hard. I mean, I, w I wouldn't uh, uh, be against that. I think you did train pretty hard. You know, you were, you were pretty powerful. I just, uh, you know, I just had a good strategy and all, and I, I guess I trained pretty hard as well. Okay, should, should I battle these people? Okay, I don't really know if I should. I think I should just let's just head to the gym if I can, because uh, yeah, I think I might just come back and battle these people because I don't really want to waste too much time. And my Pokemon are injured. That's also kind of bad. Or I guess maybe just in case, uh, I'll just quickly swap out. So uh, let's put Zarina at the front. She's she's in good health. <sighs> okay. I see. Any items here? There is. Uh, and okay, is that is that a Dunsparce? Hold on, I just, just want to check. Did I catch this Pokemon before? Uh, okay, I have. Okay, we don't need to catch it again. Let's just stomp it. Oh, I didn't knock it out. Okay. And we're going for Hyper Drill. Oh, what's, is that a normal type move? Hyper Drill? I don't really know. Okay. Also, I'm going for Grassy Train so I can go for uh, a Trop Kick and knock them out. Oh no, not Yawn. I really hate how like every Dunsparce I come across has that move. Is that like is that their signature move or something? I mean I guess it could be. You never know. Alright, let's, let's just drop kick them and this should knock them out now. Because if I have grassy terrain out. Yep, there we go. Goodbye, Dunsparce. Awesome. Okay, I'm, all my Pokemon are almost level 50. That's pretty good, because I think level 50 is a uh that's that's I think it's I think that's high enough to like be like the main story, I think. Uh, I'm, I might be misjudging though. Gotta remember Pokemon types. You sure do. Alright, I'm gonna battle you real quick. Pokemon types are so complicated, don't you think? I mean, I guess they kind of are in a way. There's, there are some that are easy, like water beating fire, fire beating ice, etc. But then there's some hard ones, like... Like, I always find it weird that, that uh, Fairy beats Dragon. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. Like, does anyone know the lore behind why Fairy type Pokemon are strong as Dragon types? Because I don't really get it at all. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're using a hat. Uh, wait, is that hat Tenna? Is that it? Is that Pokemon from Gen uh, 8, right? The Galore region? Okay, or Hatchrem. Or. Oh, hat Tenna evolves into Hatchrem, and then Hatchrem evolves into the final evolution, which I forgot what it's called. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see how much damage this do. Enough to take them out? Yes, it will. Good job, Zarina. Yeah, Zar Zarina with gra uh, Grass Terry is super powerful. Okay, which Pokemon do you have now? Uh, Gardevoir? Okay. Um, okay, actually, actually, I think, I think Blobly good against them since they're a poison type and they're a fairy type. Okay, I think they're using, wait, okay, they're using fairy type Pokemon, I think, when I literally just talked about how, I'm, I'm confused about how fairy type is strong against dragon types, it's actually pretty funny. Okay. Or, what, or, or maybe, maybe they're using psychic types, I guess, I don't really know. Okay, they copied my water absorbability, but I don't think it's gonna help them since I'm not gonna go for a water type move. I'm gonna go for a Ludge Wave. Our wish? What does that move do? Okay, does it like give them something special in the next turn or something? Alright, but that was super effective. I made the right call. Oh, okay, but they are getting healed though. Oh well. Alright, let's go for uh, I guess a actually now Sludge Wave, why not? Our Psybeam? Oh, that might be super effective. 
Yikes. Okay, but don't worry, Blob. You got this. You can take them out. Alright, there we go. Alright, goodbye, Gardevoir. That was a nice battle. Yeah, I'm gonna duck him. Yeah, I mean, the trainers here are almost, like, they're, like, about level 40, so I think it's what I should expect from the gym leader, the Psychic-type gym leader. I, th I think I'll be prepared, though. My Pokemon are about level 50, I think. Not complicated for you, huh? I mean, it still is kind of complicated for me, not to, uh, to, if I've got to be honest. Okay, are we almost there? Okay, well, how exactly do we exit this cave anyways? Also, I, I seriously hope I'm going the right way, and I'm not going in a total wrong direction like I normally do. Uh... Okay, are we, like, under the city where we're supposed to go? Oh, do I have to climb up there? Oh, God, I forgot, I, I can climb up vertical surfaces, I'm totally, I'm so dumb, like, I can just... Yeah, I can just climb up here, watch! Wow, this is awesome, look at me go! Okay, okay, we've reached the top, let's get down from there, okay, carefully. Alright, climb this way, Miradon, you gotta do some traversing. Now, jump down! Alright, did I land? Did I land? What, where are we? What happened? Oh, we got stuck, okay. Alright, jump down! Jump down! How do I- oh, do I have to- I, I thought you can jump to get down from mold. Do you have to, like, pull back? Is that what I'm doing wrong? I don't really know. Okay, I got a bold mint, I guess. Uh... Okay, we should almost be there, I think. I think we need to get to, like, the top of the cave, and then it'll, like, lead to a path that'll let us... Maybe I just, maybe I just gotta go over up the mountain, Amirda. Maybe I don't have to go through this cave. Oh! Okay, there's an Umbreon. I guess I could try to catch them. I mean, these have to seem like an interesting Terra Pokemon. Alright, what Terra type are they gonna be? I'm, I'm curious. Let's see. Uh... A dark? Wait, they're a dark terror type? That's that's what they already are. They're already a dark type Pokemon. What? I thought it was the terror type was always different from their normal type. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Oh well. Okay. Okay, I, I think this area we're supposed to go to because I can see like an item over there, and I think I can. Is there? A, I think I can see a path at least somewhere up here. I hope that's what I'm hoping that's what I'm seeing. Okay. I right, want to foul play. Okay, it did do a lot of damage, though, despite being not very effective. Alright, let's see how much damage lowest people do. Okay, one more, and I should take them out. Okay. Just please don't kill me, Umbreon. Please don't. Alright, Dark Pulse. Oh, man, this is scary. Like, this is actually scarier, because they have more Dark-type moves, or I guess more moves that match their Terra-type. I don't know, I mean, it's kind of, I, I it's kind of a hard debate whether it's better to have a Terra-type different for your normal type, or, or uh... Or diff a different normal type or the same as your normal normal type. I guess it depends on, like what how many type moves you can learn. Like if you can't learn learn any uh I guess normal type moves, don't learn don't be a normal actually no, that's a bad example. I guess if you can't learn any fairy type moves, don't be a fairy type. That's the best example I can come up with, by the way. Okay, they're going for yawn. Wow, so many Pokemon like yawning at me. Okay. okay I'm gonna try Dusk Balls, I think it'll be able to work. Or if not, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I might have to go for Ultra Balls or something. Okay, it's, Dust Balls aren't working. Oh, man, they're doing a lot of damage. Okay, my, I might want to heal, actually. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go for... Oh, and I'm asleep. Okay. Actually, no, let's not heal. Let's just switch out for Zarina. They can uh, tank a couple of hits for me. And I can hopefully catch this Umbreon. Alright, Curse? Oh, okay, it's only- Okay, if a ghost type- I think how it works if, if a ghost type uses it, they cut their HP and, and uh, it puts a, puts a curse on the opponents, but if a non-ghost type uses it, it- I think it lowers their speed and raises their attack and defense like you just saw. Okay, also, Dusk Balls aren't working, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Ultra Balls now. I don't know, are Ultra Balls better than Dusk Balls? I have no idea. Okay, I guess it works. I mean, I, I think the catching are- there is some RNG involved in catching, so that might be something that- just a important factor, it kind of affects how you catch Pokemon too. Alright, Umbreon, the Moonlight Pokemon, a dark type. When darkness falls, the rings in the body begin to glow. Mm -hmm, I think I know that already. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think Umbreon's the... Okay, so far I've caught uh, Espeon and Umbreon. Those are the two evolutions I have. Okay, also, uh, I want to check something. Let's see, uh, can I check the Pokedex? I want to see how many Pokedex entries I have exactly. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, also there's a lot of Pokemon in this area, wow. Okay, Pokédex. Uh, I just want to check, get my, check my rewards. Okay, I got 150, so I get uh, a shiny stone. Uh, 160, I get three X candy, XP candy mediums. 170, I get 10 dive balls. 180, I get 
10 bags of Stardust, and then next I can get Luxury Balls. Okay. That seems promising. So yeah, I've gotten a lot of Pokemon here. Alright. Let's just go. Oh, Guy got Impact. Okay. I guess it's a pretty powerful normal type move, but it does come with the, have the drawback of not, not being able to attack afterwards. Uh, okay, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to fight against these guys. I might just want to run away. Okay, can I knock them out? Okay, yeah, at least I could Jake Slim it out one hit. That's really it. Okay. Okay, do I have to go? Oh, do I have to go this way? Okay, wow, this game is bigger than I thought. Wow, okay, yeah, this, this place is definitely meant for parkouring with Meridon, and I guess also climbing Meridon too, if that would make more sense. Oh, okay, I should be able to. Wait, am I going the right direction? Like, maybe I have to, like. Okay. Well, that's where, that's where we, that, that hole down there is where we entered, right? So, hmm, okay, you know, maybe I, I think I might be going the wrong way, actually, unless maybe, or actually, maybe this might be the way, this might be the way right here. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna skip battling right now, because my Pokemon are pretty low. Uh, yeah, I, again, I think this is the way. Here we go. Yeah, we're in the South Province, new place, okay. I guess I'll go back and battle those people real quick once I heal. Here's the new city. Or, okay, I guess we're not in the city just yet, but okay, let's just quickly heal up this Pokemon Center and then we can do what we need to do. I build these muscles with my many trips to the gym. My brilliant brawl on this will surely lead me to victory. Do you mean like gym like a Pokemon gym or gym like a workout gym? I'm trying to my eyes in the courier. Also, I saw some interesting Pokemon back there. Oh my god, he has a rev of room! Uh, just a normal one, though, not the giant, uh, I guess, Stormobile one that Team Star has, you know? Or I, see, I think I can see it. Is that a Goth Gothorita? You know, the evolution of Gothita? And then also. This is a, oh, what is that Pokemon right there? Is that like a dog Pokemon? I don't, I don't know what that is, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Right. I know that you're taking on Rev of Room. Blob is the best for this. So, okay, there are steel types of uh, poison type moves have no effect, but the ground type moves will actually have a double uh, effectiveness. Oh, okay, wow, that was scary. What the? Oh, no, that was bad. Okay, poison jab it. Okay, we have poison types not immune to poison type moves. I'm kind of confused. Okay, wow, that did a ton of damage, though, that iron head attack. Yikes. Um, I took out Rev of Room, though. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm ready for the gym or not. I mean, I guess I won't, I won't be using Blob, though. They're weak to Psychic-type moves, so I'll have to use someone else. Probably Arcanine, since they have a Dark-type move. My massive musculature muzzled me. Okay, that's interesting alliteration right there. Uh, what, oh, is that the evolution of Fido, those dog Pokemon? Oh, there's, there's also... Wait, is that a... Oh, it's a Clef Key, that key Pokemon from Gen 8. Are there a Steel Fairy type? Uh, I don't know which moves are best. I guess let's just go for a Stomp, see what it does. Magic Room, what does that do? Uh, Creepers are in which Pokemon's held items lose their effects. Okay, I don't really- I don't have any held items, that's not gonna do anything to me. Also, okay, I probably should switch out. Let's try- maybe Arcanine can do it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon here I should probably catch, like that dog Pokemon over there. There's a Gothorita right there, the evolution of Gothita. Okay. It, it, it's, just, it's just so interesting going to like new areas, you know, and seeing brand new Pokemon and stuff, Pokemon you haven't seen before yet, or, okay, well, not brand new, it's just Pokemon you haven't caught or account, encountered in your journey yet. Right, I'll try Extreme Speed, see how much damage I'll do. Cause I don't wanna knock it- oh. Okay, I might have to go for a Flame- oh, if I go for a Flamethrower though, I'm probably gonna knock it out though. Oh, maybe I should've gone for a Quick Ball, maybe a Quick Ball would've been better. Or, okay, see what Crunch do. Uh, okay, I don't- I don't really know. This is kind of a- just a bad situation for me. Oh boy. Okay, it's almost in the red. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch it. It's not in the red just yet, but will, will it work? I don't know. Also, I think for now on, I'm gonna try more, using more quick balls. Oh, it worked. Okay. Thank you, game. It's a nice clef key was caught. All right, I think this, this is their first time returning after Gen uh, 6. Uh, okay, I keep getting Gen 6 and Gen 8 mixed up for some reason, but there's a Steel a steel and Fairy type Pokemon. In the past, noble families entrusted their Volts Cleased keys to a clef key. They passed the clef key down through the generations, taking good care of it. Okay, I guess that's kind of nice. Okay, so let's go over there. Some. Uh, actually, should I go after? Uh, let's go after that uh, dog Pokemon first, since I, that's a brand new Pokemon to this game. Oh, did it go away? I think it might have gone away by now. Oh well, I'll have to catch it another time. 
Right, I'll start by this cat hatching a gothy toe, which I'm gonna go for a gothy I mean, and I'm just gonna go for a quick ball right off the bat and see what that does. Also, I should probably buy more. Oh, the dog point's right over there, I think. I think I can still catch it. Okay, will it work? Yes! Okay, yeah, quick balls are really good. I I'm definitely gonna buy a ton of them when I can. Okay, there we go. We caught Gothita, the... I believe they're the Manipulation Pokemon, or the, just the Manipulate Pokemon, a Psychic type. Using a Psychic Power, it arranges pebbles to form the shapes of constellations. Some people believe this Pokemon came from outer space. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, there are some Pokemon that say, that say it came from outer space. Also, I see a, a, a Bombardier in the background. Oh, there's a lot of them! Is this, like, their habitat? I'm still, that's cool, because I think Bombardier is actually a good Pokemon to catch, because they have... I mean, I need them to make a fly TM, so they, uh, they can... I need, uh, Bombardier feathers to make them. Okay, let's see, will a Quick Ball work on them? Or maybe a Repeat Ball, even, since I've already caught them before. I don't really know which one will be the best. Okay, Quick Ball works, though! Okay, wow, Quick Balls are really good. Like, I can see why people talk about them so much, they really are that great. Okay. Or we already know them, but I'm more interested in, let's see, how many bomb bird your feathers do I get from, from that? Oh, oh, just two, okay, well, that's not that much, but it will. Oh, that was the wrong Pokemon, that's the, that's S. Pathor, I believe, that ostrich Pokemon. Okay, another bomb or I guess I'll catch him while I can, you know? Alright, then after this, I should probably get ready for the gym. Although, also, before I do that, though, I do want to buy up a ton of Quick Balls, like, I'm, I'm gonna spend, like, a ton of money on Quick Balls, I swear. Oh, it burst out. Okay, well, now I can't use the quick ball. Now I have to go for something different. Okay, actually, I think I can still make this work. But I just go for a stomp and then get, get some low HP and then go for a repeat ball. That might be able to work. Let's see. Oh, okay, well, it's kind of tanky. This might take some time. Yikes. Oh, well. Okay. Okay, actually, let's, let's just go for the repeat ball now and see what it does. Alright, come on, please work, repeat ball, please work. Oh, come on! Oh, I thought I was gonna catch, they caught. Okay, wow. Okay, Bombardier is hard to catch. Or at least this one is, I mean, I, I think maybe different Pokemon, like, just different, like, each unique Pokemon is just harder to catch than others, you know? Like, I think po different Pokemon have, like, different values associated to them that say how easy or hard it is to catch them. Okay, I already know Bombardier. Okay, I should probably, I should, I think it's an option to turn off, like, the auto nickname thing, or, like, just the thing that pops on the screen every time you catch a Pokemon, so I might want to do that. But I want to quickly want to buy, I want to quickly buy some Quick Balls, if that's the way you would say it, okay. Alright, see, they only cost a thousand each, right? Wait, wait, can I buy them? Wait, I can't buy them? I thought I could buy them, am I wrong? Okay, I guess I can only buy repeat balls? Oh. Oh, wow, look at those paintings over there, wow, look at all those... Oh, it's cool, it's like 8-bit, like, Pokemon art from, like, the Gen 1 games. You got, like, an 8-bit, that's, I think that's 8-bit art of, like, a bird Pokemon, like, Pidgeotty. Uh, I think that's the Onomite, Onomite fossil, then there's, uh, I think that's a, a, P, a Ditto turned to a Pichu, or is, is that just Pichu? I don't know. It looks like a Ditto turned to Pichu. Then there's the Bug, there's the, I think that's the one for Seal. And then Rhyhorn, uh, I don't know what Pokemon it is, and then Ekans. That's so interesting, seeing all those... 8-bit sprites and like a in tapestry like that. Also, okay, I want to see what what are you called? The you're the evolution of Fido, I believe. Oh, you're kind of cute. A dash, a dash bun. Okay, that's interesting. All right, let's try flame thorn and see what that does. Our right, work up. What does that do? Oh, I can just boost their their attack and and special attack. Okay, just pretty basic stat basing uh boosting move. Well, oh what? Oh wow, that's an interesting ability. So they're they're immune to fire type moves and being hit by one uh booster defense. That's that's even better than Arcanine's flash fire, I think. That's interesting. So I, th I think a dash bun, this Pokemon up here might actually be an interesting Pokemon. I might want to try them out if I can sometime if I can. Okay, I mean okay. Uh I don't know what I should do though. Should I go for an earthquake? Actually, maybe I should Oh, actually I think I'm, I'm gonna knock it out now. That's kinda bad. I probably should- Oh, I should go for- I forgot to go for the quick ball. Yikes. Oh, shit, that didn't do much at all. Uh, okay, well, I can't go for, uh, uh repeat balls. I guess I'll try great balls and then go for ultra balls. Or should, maybe I should spam ultra balls, who knows. Okay, it's in the ground for some reason, that's a weird glitch. Okay, but it worked, I caught it, despite the fact that the great ball is, like, almost fully submerged in the ground. Alright, then. Alright, Amphros wants to move Dazzling Gleam. That's a fairy-type move, right? 
I mean, I think it's better than, slightly better than Power Jump, because it hits all opposing Pokemon, plus a Fury type move is actually, it would be pretty good if there's, if we're going against, like, Dragon types or something, so, you know, I think it's worth learning. Let's forget Power Jump and replace it with Dazzling Gleam. Also, if I get a chance, I might want to replace uh, their Dragon type move, or Dragon Tail with a different Dragon type move, maybe just, like, Dragon Pulse or something simple. Our Dash Bun, the Dog Pokemon, a Fairy type. The surface of this Pokemon skin hardens when exposed to his tense tea. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense why they have that ability then. Its body is an appetizing aroma. Okay, definitely a pretty cool Pokemon. I really like them. Yeah, there they are. I think they're like they're like at a cafe or something. It's a pretty, it's pretty cute and fitting for them. Uh, oh, I thought that rock was a Pokemon for a second. Oops. Okay. Uh, skill swap? Okay, this is kind of an interesting, uh, move. Okay, let's, uh, go this way. Okay, welcome, my family is great. I feel like it's making pottery for generations, isn't that cool? Okay, I mean, yeah, I like how, like, the, like, the clay art over there you've got, it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, see, is there anything worth exploring around here? I mean, I want to explore real quick and just see, okay, there's, there's, like, a tiny little fountain. I'm getting, like, sprayed by the fountain. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, are there any items around here? Okay, there's some, uh, little squawk abilities, those, uh, parrot Pokemon. Oh, there's a, a TM. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to find TMs, because TMs are what I'm after. Or sub- Oh, I know that move, Substitute, that's a pretty good move. Okay, I might want to try that out sometime. I mean, it's kind of more of a strategical move, but it's still really good. Okay. Oh, oh shoot, what, what item did I just get? Uh, I didn't see what item I got, okay, uh... I mean, if you, if you saw it, like, if you can pause the video and see what it was, that'd be cool, because I couldn't see it there. Oops. Uh, okay, I don't think there's anything else worth going after right now, so I guess I'll just kick on the second time gym right now, because actually, uh, oh, I thought I saw a team over there, but I guess not. Alright, let's do it. So, uh, this is our next, we only have two more gyms after this, assuming we beat this one. I mean, I, I hope we will, we probably will. Okay. Oh, uh, hello, Jack Quay, my, uh, science teacher. Hello, hello, Ernest, did you why? How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? Uh, I mean, I guess I kind of have, you know, I want to try to do all the challenges, you know? Or I guess all the different paths. That's great, look at you, knowing exactly what you're after. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. Yeah, I chose that too. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. So I was waiting here to make sure you you know your homeroom teacher's got your back. Thank you. A lucky egg? What does that do? Oh, I think that- Oh, it, uh, it, oh yeah, increases the, the XP points the Pokemon's holding it. This should be handy for a treasure hunt. I hope you'll keep working on that Pokemon of yours, too, since I did make the app and all. Yep, I'll try to complete it. That's all for me. Just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? I sure will. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jacque. Alright, but now let's do this. Let's take on the Psychic Type Gym. Let's do this. Welcome to the Alfranada Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Inasidjuwai, yes? It sure is. Alright then. Great, now in order to face gym leader Tulip, you'll first need to pass the gym test. What is it? Here at the Alfranada Gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. Oh. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice created by Tulip herself, of course. Complete it and you'll pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracks you in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left after leaving the gym and you'll find the practice area right next to the door. Now get out there and have fun! Okay then. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm, I'm curious what this is gonna be like. It was like the emo- was it like the emotional practice test or something? I'm kinda curious what it's gonna be like. Cause all these gym tests like have been pretty unique and pretty cool so far, so I'm curious what this is gonna be. Oh, hello. Step right up for some exercise. Oh, hello. Asu, welcome, new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Well, actually, I, th I think this is the fighting teacher from our school, I think, Dendra. I kind of forgot about her, but here she is. Why is your battle studies teacher here at a Pokemon gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. Is that basically kind of like truth or dare? I don't know. Also, actually, no, it's, it's like betting, but like the, the loser has to be like the winner's like personal servant. So we battled, and well, oh, you lost. I see how it is. <laughs> this is a chance to get, get a workout in and help my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of, of emotional spectrum practice, or ESP, are short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement. All you have to do is copy it. Ready guys, gym test started. I hope you, your body and mind are ready for this challenge. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Is this going to be like a mini game? Okay, let's get to exercising. Show me an erupt of emotions. Oh, is this going to be like a rhythm game? I don't know. 
Oh, okay, here we are. So you got emotional spectrum practice. Okay, so I've arcanized my main Pokemon. I guess that's who I'm using, so it makes sense. Although, if this, is, if this is gonna be like dancing, I probably should use uh, Donald since they're meant for dancing, basically. Okay. Alright, what do I have to do? Alright, we're dancing. Sort of. Alright. Start. Oh! Show excitement? Okay, so you gotta. Oh, so it's, it's almost like Simon says in a way, you know? Or floor excitement, do I, do I just, just have to spam it? Okay. Do I have to hold it? Okay, I don't know. Do I just keep. I'm just. Keep, I'm just keeping clicking. This is overflow excitement. Oh, do I have to time it right? Do I have to time it like when it's like fully charged? Show me all your joy. Uh. Give me your best angry face. Oh, I'm angry. Oh. Okay, I'm still not sure. I just, I just, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna just hit it once each time to see how that, how that does. It just keeps saying okay. Like, it's not saying like good or anything. I finished. Did I pass? Please tell me I pass. I don't want to have to do that again. That was weird. That was awesome. I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression. Okay, that did it right then. That stuff I'm warm now is really putting those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. All right then, I'm ready for this. You gotta keep moving. This is no ordinary battle. This is a workout. Oh, I'm battling this little girl. I thought I was battling her. Just by gym trainer Emily. All right. All right, got the Rita. All right, come on, Arcana, you got this. Oh, everyone's watching. That's kind of cool. I mean, I feel like they're kind of too close to the battle court, though. They should probably back up. All right, Arcana, you got this. Go for Crunch. Oh, come on, they lived on just one HP. Oh, they're going to hypnotize me. Oh, no, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, I might want to go for an Awakening and just wake myself up. Oh, never mind. I didn't have to. Thank you, Arcana. You're awesome. Okay. Alright, get flamethrower. Goodbye, Gotharita. Okay, so, uh, so far this isn't that bad. Alright, so about Faust and Curlia. Right, let's just stick with Orkin and they've got this. Actually, is Curlia also a fairy? Yeah, they're also a fairy type, right? So. Oh, this will just do normal damage. I guess we'll go for. Let's just go for Flamethrower then, I guess. Okay, yeah, that worked. It one shot at them. Alright, goodbye, Curlia. Alright, do you have any more Pokemon? Nope, you only had two. Thank you. And there we go. That was a pretty easy battle. I'm moved by how well you moved, both you and your Pokemon. Alright then, thank you. Oh, I got a ton of money from you. I didn't know little girls had so much money. Great, I can hear your, your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. I see you're getting tired, but you gotta hang in there. It's time for the start the second half. Oh, there's still more. Okay then. Alright then, don't worry, I've got this. I think, maybe I don't even have to spin, maybe I can just do it once each time. Okay, wow, this challenge really is something. I mean, I, I feel like they should, they should have made it a bit harder, though. I feel like they should have made it, like, you have to time it right or something, because, like, you have so much time to do it. Do you see this? I mean, maybe it's not, maybe it's not even possible to fail. Maybe it's just, you just have to go through it. Maybe that's all there is to it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's, or maybe it is possible to fail, or it's just, and it's just really hard. I have no idea. That's perfect. I almost lost track of who is teaching who. Don't give up yet. It's time for another battle. Hold out against all that lat, latric acid. Oh, hold on, battle against this old man. My goal is to grow strong and build muscle. Any tips? Um, okay. Just my gym trainer, Raphael. Okay, who do you have? A grump pig? Alright, I got this. Alright, come on. Alright, come on. Crunch should be super effective. Thank you. Alright, goodbye, grump pig. Alright, next is Metacham, uh, let's just keep on with Arcanine, Arcanine's the MVP for this gym, they've got this covered. Alright, let's keep going for Crunch. Actually, will be- Okay, they're, oh, they're also a fighting type, so it wasn't super effective. Acupuncher? Oh, a struggle- oh, actually, hold on, I got a, a solution for that, let's go for extreme speed so we'll still beat them. Ha, wait, nice try, but I was able to outspeed you anyways. Okay, then. Right now I have this in DD. Oh yeah, that's. So this is actually the weird Pokemon that I like. I feel like it's an Audino, Audino clone. You know, I don't know. I, I still like they kind of look like Audino. And also in, in Pokemon Night, they in, on the Thea Sky Ruins map they replaced the Audinos of this Pokemon in DD. Also, I don't know why I forgot in name. Like I feel like it's kind of an, a, mem a memorable name in a way in DD. 
kind of reminds me of, kind of reminds me of DD from Big and Eight, you know, that book series. I, I made me characters for them in Smash at one time, that was pretty cool. Nothing was stronger than a growing kid like you. I guess so. Okay, I got like double the money there. Maybe that was just a, a pop up from last time. Good job, made it all the way through the ESP exercise. You passed this test, no doubt about it. Congratulations. All right, that was pretty easy. You're not done yet. Switch over to the lobby, staff room, and double. You have to report your passing grade to formally finish the gym test. Uh, okay, sure. I mean, it's fine. I, I guess I can get some cardio in by running over to the gym. All right, thank you. That was definitely an interesting challenge, but it, it, it was pretty easy. Or at least easier than I thought it would be. So it's, I mean, I guess the gym challenges aren't really that hard. There's, there's meant to be fun. Like, the hard part is actually facing a gym leader. I mean, unless, of course, it's an easy gym. I don't know how... I mean, this gym might be a little hard, since I don't have many Pokemon that are strong against Psychic types. Or, but I'm ready to cha challenge gym leader tool up. Let's do this. Okay, actually, did, uh, I might have, I, did I forget to heal? I think I might have. I don't think it's going to be too much of a big deal. I didn't take that much damage, I think. At least I hope. But here we go. So here's the gym uh, stadium. I, know, I, know, I, know, I have no idea where this is exactly. Actually, I know what it is. It's, it's on top of the building of the tap, uh, the art, you know? I suppose you're right, okay? I'll get things moving here on my end. Oh, you're talking on your phone? Let's keep the tag in line simple. Naturally beautiful. Oh, hello. And order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? Uh, okay, my gym, the, the gym leader seems busy on her phone at the moment. Oh, wow, look at her outfit. Thank you, you're, thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now, chat with you later. Oh, wow. Okay, are you like a supermodel or something? Oh, wow. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Okay, that's what she is. So yeah, all the gym leaders have different jobs here. Then try nothing but to praise you. She said you totally slayed out there. I guess I did. Hee <laughs> hee, I must say, you're a cute challenger in a situ Uh, alright then. I, I sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? You like to keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic. Appearance is equally important for both people and Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. Uh, by beating them up. I don't know the worst. Oh, wow, she has like butterfly wings on her skirt. How does that work? But I'm challenging my gym leader tulip. Let's go. Fa Whoa, what? Farafarig? Is that like a new evolution for Girafferig? Wow, that's so cool. You're quite a good base to test my ma ma makeup magic on. What shall I use on you? So that's cool, they gave Giraffrig a new evolution in this game, it's really cool, I might want to catch it sometime. Or is this still a psychic type? I, I believe it is, so I'll go for Crunch, it'll still be super effective. Okay, it was, okay, it just has a lot of defense. Or right, Zen Headbutt. Okay, it didn't do too much, I'm not too scared. Okay, I'll see how it did, it auto healed me, so I didn't have to worry. Thank you, game, for auto healing me. Alright, goodbye, Far Af- Far- Farig- I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm just gonna call it Far Afrig. It's sort of like Jar Freak, but like with a far. Donald wants me to move Feather Dance. I, doesn't that like lure, lower the opponent's attack at harsh throws? I mean, I don't know. Is that better than Focus Energy? I don't really know. Let's just not learn it for now. We, can, we might come back to it later though, but for now it's not. Okay, Gardevoir. Um, you know, let's, let's actually switch out because Gardevoir, they're, they're not weak to Dark type moves. So let's just go for. Uh, Actually, I think Do uh, actually, I don't know, that might be kind of risky using Blob. Let's just go for a Talon Flame, I guess. Also, actually, let's try that Tailwind move and see if like, it'll actually like, boost the speed stat of all my Pokémon like every single time I send them out. Our right, Talon Flame, the reliable partner. Like, I'm still not 100% sure how I got that title. I'll probably have to also look it up, that's for sure. Alright, let's go for Tailwind. So now, for now, it should increase the speed stat of all Pokémon on my team. Alright, it lasts for four turns though, so it won't last too long, but it should be enough just to give me a slight boost to help me win this battle. Okay, uh, let's go for a fly now. Oh gosh, maybe it wasn't a good idea, so I'm gonna waste like two turns using fly. Okay, but at least I'm gonna dodge the psychic. Okay, come on, Tom Flame, you got this. Okay, not bad. I almost took him out. Alright, psychic. Oh shoot, okay, I'm, I'm pretty low. Okay, after this, I should probably switch out. Alright, don't worry, Tom you can still do this, I believe in you. Alright, sure, they're going for Psychic, but they're gonna miss. Am I- Oh, yeah, the Tailwind wore, wore off, okay. Yeah, that was a waste of it. I probably should've used it more strategically than that. 
Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna switch out. S Pathro, okay, that's that's just a psychic type, so I'm safe to go for Arcanine and go for Crunch. Alright, come back to Town Flame. Go Arcanine, you've got this. Okay, this super shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty equally leveled, I think, because. Okay, her Pokemon. Okay, I mean, yeah, I'm slightly. I'm actually, no, I'm slightly over leveled. I mean, you basically gotta be over leveled, you know, for the gym battles, right? I mean, maybe not super over leveled, but just over leveled somewhat. Okay. Okay, I did a good amount of damage, but let's see how much damage this crunch will do. Oh, man, they just they just keep barely living. Right, let's go for extreme speed so I can outspeed them. Yeah, extreme speed is good for finishing them off since you'll be able to attack first and they won't be able to knock you out first or like defend themselves or anything. Actually, I think if they go for protect, they can defend themselves. Now, finally, they have floor gives, which isn't a, a psychic type, but they're gonna be a psychic terror type. But I'm just gonna stick with Arcanine. Which is hard to get rid of as kicked on ma Masker, I see. I need a good makeup remover. Okay, that's a, kind of a weird uh, joke, but okay. Alright then. Um, okay, I guess let's go for Crunch, I guess. Come here, my little Fort Ward. It's time for, your, for a makeover. You'll become a new you. That's right, you're gonna Tourist and become a Psychic type. Alright, there she goes, Tourist Slicing. Okay. Let's see the Psychic Tier type, which, yeah, has the big eye, you know, the Psychic eye. Actually, it's kind of fitting in a way, because she was talking about, like, eye makeup and stuff. She's the, uh, like the, uh, eye, what, what was it again, the eye la I don't know, but just something to do with, like, like, eyes, like, decorating your eyes is part of makeup, right? So, like, it kind of makes sense in a way. I'd be wishing Beauty Methods will cleanse your, you right down the depths of your pores, but... Okay, they're using Psychic. Uh-oh, they might knock me out. Oh, I just barely lived. Oh, Arcanine toughed it out, so I wouldn't feel sad, okay. Okay, can I go over extreme speed and take them out? Please say yes. Quit extreme speed. Yes! Way to go, Arcanine! That was an awesome way to clutch out that battle. He just clutched down 1 HP. There we go, we did it. Way to go, Arcanine. So yeah, uh, definitely, I mean, not too easy, but still pretty easy, this gym battle. But that was still pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Alright, she seems, uh, I guess just somewhat, uh, disappointed, I guess. Your strength is a magic that cannot be washed away. Oh, that's nice, I guess. Yeah, she's complimenting me for winning. It's a f nice thing to say. I lost the battle? And your beauty rival's even my own? I can't believe it. Okay, I don't know if I'm more beautiful than you, but I guess I beat you in the battle, though. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big break somewhere. Oh, do you mean like wing? Like those wing things you have in your shirt? I don't know. I suppose I need to work on myself a little more first before I can run off and do such a thing. You have earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike, strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Innocent Y. Alright then, let's see the epic pose. Uh, is that just a ballet pose? Like a, like you were doing, when you're doing like a pirouette? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Also, I was trying to do it too, but I to totally failed. Oh well. Alright, six gym badges, put one up to level 50, it'll be easier to catch up and listen to my commands. Nice. I train hard to be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. Our TM Psychic, a pretty simple Psychic type move, but still pretty good. Don't go uploading the selfie you just took to social media, okay? Uh, I won't. I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. I need, I need to fix it fast for my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. Very well then, you did splendid today. Alright then, so is that it? Also, you have, you have two meta champs that follow you around for some reason. Okay then, you do you, I guess. Alright, but that was it. We beat our six gyms. We only have two more to go, and also we have two more gyms and then two more team star bases, so we're making some good progress. I think we'll, we're will we getting close to the end of this game, hopefully. Greetings once more, Instant Y. Hello, Hassel. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say... I thought it was simply excellent! Full marks! Gold star! Extra credit, even! Ah, thank you! Hardly had, it, hardly had you Arcanine out before you launched into your strategy. Alright, hardly had you sent your Arcanine before you launched into your strategy. Yeah, I had a pretty good strategy going using... Uh, a uh, crunch and extreme speed. The unmelting offense, that flurry of attacks. What if she way to corner the opponent? Yeah, it actually was. It actually makes sense in a way because I was using uh, extreme speed to like c catch them off guard when they were on low HP, you know? And what artfully trained Pokemon, such a vibrant pa palette of moves. Oh, I do beg your pardon. I did not mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Ahem, in summary, I simply wanted to say you seem to be gotten even stronger. Must admit you're eager to gather all your gym badges. I sure am. As a member of the Elite Four, I, I wait the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Alright, I hope to battle you one day. Oh, but one thing, don't let your studies fall 
uh, fall by the wayside. Be sure to come to the academy now and then. Uh, I mean, I guess I should probably do that. I don't really know what, go like, doing the classes, like, it does for me exactly, but I guess it's worth doing. Alright, guys, we're gonna end it off right here, but still a pretty good episode, though. We beat the Psychotype Gym, and now, like, as I said before, we only have two more gyms and two more Team Star bases to take on. And there's also the other thing where I have to go meet Arvin at the lighthouse, but, uh, it was somewhere, uh, okay, I don't know where it was, but I have to do it at some point. But I think I want to save it for later, though. For now, I'm gonna just focus on taking care of the gyms and the teams, the remaining Team Star bases. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!